we pulled up and the smoke was just pouring out of this four-story brick and uh, we did everything we could to make a push on the fire and, and try and get them and at every firefighter there was doing the same thing we were all working as a team to just get to try and get down there and get this fire out so we could get at you know our guys we didn't know who it was um, but we knew they were in the place where we have an extra 10 guys going dedicated to getting our own guys out so and the guys did they acted my guys were heroic and everybody everybody there was hey pal how you doing there's one of the heroes right here this guy was unbelievable unbelievable cue yeah and um, and then there was a backdraft and we got blown captain lee got blown down the stairs and about 10 of us got blown down the stairs and after that the chief said that's it no one else is going in well first of all i just want to say uh, personally and as governor, how unspeakably sad this loss is. Uh, two uh, distinguished firefighters lost any injured. My, uh, my prayers and my thoughts go out to the families of those who were lost, uh, the Walsh and Kennedy families, uh, to the colleagues who have survived uh, and carry on. Um, my admiration and my thanks. And he was the best person the best person in the whole world and I miss it very much and we all do. Well, uh, it's a tough day for everybody in the Boston Fire Department uh, and in the city of Boston, but our guys are hanging in there. They're strong guys. Well, I was actually listening to the fire on the ride in and uh, I knew that it was a very uh, scary situation. I was very worried about Engine 33. I work in this district, so I knew I knew I'd know the guys, and uh, I was just praying that you know we could get to them. And uh, fortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. Eddie is pretty close to the family because he works in this district, and uh, he, he called her on the phone, and it was she, she knew something was wrong when Eddie called. You know, she's a very strong woman.